Hey, what is up, guys? Como esta, ka? Como esta, pokeo? Uh, this is Teacher Ben, and I'm coming to you live with my second installment in the ongoing series of analyzing Bickle, Bisaya, and Tagalog. All right, so it does turn out that there was some type of uh, something that we can uh, completely understand from uh, God changing all of the languages of the world. All right, so let's analyze this. Here we go. All right, so again, relative to Bickle, uh, the order is Bickle, Bisaya, then Tagalog. All right, so in the first installment, I did one, two, three, and now we have four. I do want to point out that all of these, you look at the similarities here, all of them are have the semicolon and then the word all after them. So basically, uh, four, five, six are all going to be similar. So let's do Bickle. We have four is Apat. All right. In Bickle, we have Apat. In Bisaya, we have Upat. Okay. Similar. All right. And Tagalog, we have Apat again. So similarities, all, all of them. Yes. Now, let's look at five. Uh, Bicol, we got Lima. And uh, what do we have for Bisaya? None other than Lima. All right? So, it's really not so complicated what God has done with these languages. All right? But we need to make a nice uh, analytical chart. All right? And what do we have for uh, Tagalog? We also have Lima. So, Similarities, all oh, very easy. Life is easy. All right, here we go with six. All right, uh, Bicol, we have Anom. These these are not all this exactly the same, but we're gonna give it the similarities for all. All right, six in Bisaya is Unom. Unom. It just changed the A to a U. All right, and in uh, Tagalog. We have a neme. So we did change the O to an I from Bicol to Tagalog. And Unam to a neme in Bisaya to Tagalog. Uh, pretty well the same. Change the U to an A and the O to an I. Let's look at seven. Uh, we do have Pito across the board. So Pito in Bicol, Pito in Bisaya and Pito in Tagalog. All right, so similarities all. Life is really easy for that one. All right, so uh, let's uh, conclude this this uh, lesson for today. And uh, do stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon. To stay up to date on these and get a notification when the longer videos are posted, do like and smash me a subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson as we figure out uh, what exactly has happened with all of these languages. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben Paalam.